sounds highly technical too, because if you've got that many rolls with spikes, they can't, uh, obviously they've got to be going in sync as it's going at a high rate of speed. So mm -hmm. highly skilled individuals, I mean, between understand how to read prints, do the fab work, make the part, weld the part, assemble it all. You've got some pretty high-skilled people there working for you then. We do. I, You know, I was just talking to uh, one of my crew leaders this morning, and I. this is not a knock on any of our past employees, but we probably have a good as the goodest crews as we've ever had mm -hmm. up to today, and that is, that's a pretty big compliment, really, because the amount of the amount of prints that we see in a given day or week or month is is really insane. Mm -hmm. um, and and most of the, the things that we build don't really say how to build them, if you will. It sounds crazy, but mm -hmm. engineers aren't welders. They get the and, napkin out and they say, here, yeah, build this off the I mean, napkin. They're, they're good drawings, but they, they don't put weld symbols on them. Yep. You know, they rely on the fabricator to do that, which in, in some cases is probably a no-no. But we've been doing this a long time, and I think they... You know, a lot of guys trust us to do that, but it's, um, it is an, just an absolute challenge to do that. 